So what do I have? I have something new. What is this? It's a Glock 22. Generation 3. So for those of you that aren't aware, this is a 40 caliber gun. This is a, a service pistol. This is a, uh, a police trade-in. I got this for 319 at Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore. Uh, they were originally selling it for $399. I got it for $319. Um, it was marked as a fair condition gun. Um, this is, in my opinion, far from fair. It's probably actually a, a, a good condition gun. There was nothing wrong. The grips were not marred at all. They were in very good condition. Um, I didn't see any... I mean, I, there's some, some holster wear, but this is a 10-year-old gun as well. Uh, for a 10-year-old gun, um, there's very little holster wear. There's some holster wear here, some holster wear here, uh, some holster wear right here, and here. Yes, the gun is clear. There's nothing in there. Um, the grips did not come with the gun. What came with the gun? Uh, two magazines, which is pretty good because it was marketed as coming with one. So I found out it was it came with two when I went and picked it up and actually inspected it. The sights are metal. They're Trijicon night sights. Um, they actually have some life left in them. They're not the strongest in the world, but they're not weak either. I added the grip tape when I found that the recoil was very much excessive, even for a 40 caliber gun. Um, I've fired 40 caliber handguns before. Um, I have not fired 40 caliber polymer guns. Uh, the guns that I fired were all metal, and that metal actually negates uh, the recoil somewhat. Um, this is different, um, but really, there's something else here. Hold on a second. Uh, before I open it up, let's let's talk about the other things uh um this also comes with a 5.5 pound trigger uh i think it's glock sourced um the blue label on the case i actually you know mentioned uh, the trigger and the night sights so uh they ordered this gun with that trigger in mind the trigger is very nice One more time. The reset is actually pretty good. Um, there's take up, you hit a wall, and then there's a little bit of a creep, just a very little bit, and it's that's it. You're done. Uh, so let's open this up. No, that's not a stock uh, uh, spring guide assembly, a spring rod, a spring and rod assembly. It is an EFK. Um, I, I got that in the hopes that it would tame recoil a bit. Um, but the the OEM springs were actually pretty weak. Um, I could tell. Um, I did the uh, the trick where you gauge uh, whether or not you need to re uh, I guess get a new spring, and it barely passed. So why didn't I buy an o another OEM spring? Um, I still can, but uh, I'm not sure if that would have taken the edge off like I wanted it to. So I got this uh, this EFK spring. Um, a lot of people are saying that the spring uh, is crappy. Um, mileage is going to vary on depending on who you ask. Some people don't have a problem with it. Um, uh, some people do. But uh, there's people out there who always say, well, why are you changing that stuff if Glock didn't design it? Um, because I can, for one. And those same people are changing, stippling their grip and things like that. So unless you're running a 100% stock gun and you can verify that any type of aftermarket feature or customization is going to break the gun, any at all any then I'll change my mind 
but uh, that's not going to happen. Some people customize their Glocks and they run fine. Other people don't. So what happens if I don't like this spring? I'll just go and get an OEM spring. Or I'll try one of the Lone Wolves or something. Just like any other thing in life. You know, whether it's a car modification or, or some type of aftermarket stereo system in my car or whatever if it doesn't work I'll try something else or go back to stock it's not a huge deal not the end of the world um, what else targets <clears throat> seven yards No, that's not it. This is the seven yard one for the 40. Not particularly, I was aiming here. So I have no idea if it's the sights or me flinching or if it's just the fact that I need some seat time with the gun. Don't know, but uh, I did do this with the grand power. So I know I can hit in the red. I hit all in the red here. The only reason you can't see it is because I put that sticker over it. There you go. Um, a similar gun in size and uh, I guess similar mechanisms. The Grand Power, uh, not Grand Power, the uh, Canic TP9SA. Then even then, I'm shooting far to the left of what I normally do. But I don't have a lot of seat time with that gun either. And then lastly, all these are from 7 yards. This is the Glock 22 again, right before I packed it up. So, something to work on. Here's the Canic TP9SA. Very similar in size. In fact, this is a 4.45 inch barrel gun. This is a 4.5 inch gun. Um, they both have the same trigger mechanisms with the trigger safety. They're both um, striker fire guns. They're both polymer. So yeah. I'm not, I don't have to clear this gun. You can see the chamber flag right there. So, I mainly got this gun so that I could use the Rock Island Armory 22 TCM 9R conversion kit. As soon as I, uh, maybe this summer or maybe at the end of the year, hopefully I'll have found one by then and, and bought it. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason I got this gun. But it might be a while before I can actually get access to that conver conversion kit because they seem to be not stocked all that well. Uh, I guess the, the stores that, that usually have them. I don't know if it's because at Christmas or if they're just slow selling. Um, I hear they're in hot demand, but uh, maybe uh, uh, demand is exceeding supply. But uh, eventually I will get a hold of that. Uh, but until then, I'll begin to try and get used to this gun. It feels good. I added the grips to help control the recoil. Between the weak spring and uh, the lack of, uh, I guess, grip texture on this gun, it's a Gen 3. So it's not going to be as uh, uh, tacky as the Gen 4 uh, grips. I added these. Uh, 24 25 bucks. So I will let you guys know my next experience with the gun when I take it to the range uh, and shoot it after adding these Talon grips and the uh, recoil spring assembly.